In this video, we will show you how to replace your front strut upper mount on this Ford Fusion. This will be located inside of your wheel well. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we have to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Now once you've done that, we'll continue on with removing all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off, we have a clear view of our front strut assembly. We're going to start by removing our flex hose from the area. Remove your 10 millimeter headed bolt. Go ahead and separate that. Now that we have that separated, let's move along to disconnecting our upper sway bar link from the strut attachment. To remove this, we'll be using a 14 millimeter, but you also want to make sure you hold the shaft of the sway bar link. To do that, I'll be using some locking pliers. We'll come right along the backside, hold onto the shaft, and then we'll remove the 14 millimeter nut. Give the sway bar link a quick inspection, set that aside. With that out of the way, let's move along to this pinch bolt. Use your 14 millimeter and remove it. <laughs> Go ahead and clean that down, give it a close inspection. We will be reusing this. Let's use some penetrant in this area, let it sit while we continue making our way down to the lower control arm. Make our way down to the lower control arm. Let's remove this 14 millimeter headed bolt. Now when you go to unscrew this, you'll find that you do have a nut on the far side that has a small hook holding it in place. At this point, we can remove this. You may have to raise or lower the control arm to get this out of position. A quick inspection and set that aside. At this point, we can continue on to separating this from the lower aspect of the strut. It should want to fall right down onto the axle, but be careful not to damage the boot. We'll make sure we're holding onto this. You may have to use a hammer. There we are. Once you have that completely broken free, make your way up into the engine compartment. Inside of the engine compartment, we'll be looking for the strut tower. You're going to find that you have three 14 millimeter headed mounting nuts to remove. Do not touch the center mounting nut at this point. We'll fully remove our first mounting nut, give it a quick inspection and start it on just a couple threads. Before we fully remove that final mounting nut, take hold of the front strut. While holding onto that, you can remove the nut and then we'll remove the strut from this area. We're looking for an alignment point, which would technically be along the front of the strut. Now that I have this marked in yellow, if you were to follow this straight up along the strut, we're going to mark along the cap as well. You'll find that it does align with this area right along here. Now that we've taken note of the orientation of everything, let's continue on with compressing the coil spring. You want to be as careful as possible because this will be under a lot of pressure. Now, once you have enough pressure on that spring that you can maneuver the cap around and the strut in comparison to the spring itself, we'll continue on with removing the center mounting nut. To remove the center mounting nut, typically you will find that you have a protective boot covering the threaded area. We'll use a 14 millimeter. Hold onto that strut while you remove this.
Go ahead and take hold of that cap. There it is, friend. Okay, let's get ready to install our strut cap on here. We'll take this and slide it in position. Now, once you have it in position, we're going to continue on to having it in the proper alignment point. After that, you can put on your mounting nut. Now, to tighten the mounting nut, what you're going to find is that the shaft of the strut will spin at the same time. The first thing we'll have to do is snug this down. Once we've done so, we can release pressure from the spring and then we'll torque this to manufacturer specifications. With that said, let's hold the nut with some pliers and we'll use a quarter inch wrench to turn the shaft counterclockwise. Make our way right in here. There we are. At this point, I have this bottomed out as close as possible. Let's continue on to aligning this where it needs to be. After we've done that, we'll continue on with releasing pressure so we can torque this. Pay attention on the bottom first. We'll turn this counterclockwise so it aligns with the bottom of the coil spring. Now we'll align the top area here. We remember that the mounting point should align with that little corresponding notch down along the bottom. Get it as close as possible. At this point, we'll release tension. Before we go too far, let's just confirm that we're looking good. Yeah, looks pretty good. Once you have that snugged up, the next thing we'll do is torque it to 30 foot pounds. At this point, let's remove the strut from the machine and make our way back over to the vehicle. All right, let's get this in the vehicle. Get this aligned along the top here. Start on all three of your mounting nuts. While we're up here, let's just bottom these out. Once we bottom them out, we'll make our way back into the wheel well and torque these once the wheel's back on the ground. Now inside of the wheel well, we'll be paying attention to along the bottom of the front strut and this area here. You wanna make sure you clean out the port where the strut will go into. Use some sandpaper or maybe even a wire brush. Go ahead and give it a quick cleaning. Once you've done that, we'll continue on with some anti-seize. Now it's time to put everything together. Take hold of your pinch bolt. Make sure it's nice and clean. We'll take this. Slide it up and in a position, paying attention to the alignment point. We wanna make sure we align it with this small slot that's in this area. Press it up as far as you can and continue on with the mounting bolt. We'll take this and slide it straight on through from the rear towards the front. Start it in by hand so you're sure you are not cross-threading it. Let's pause up there and make our way underneath the lower ball joint. We have to apply a little bit of pressure underneath this control arm so we can continue on aligning our next mounting bolt. Press that through as far as you can, and then we'll continue on with the mounting nut along the backside. For this, you essentially just put it right on the bolt and then turn that bolt until it locks in. At this point, we're going to put ground force pressure underneath the ball joint so we can continue on to snugging and torquing these mounting bolts.
Bottom that out and torque it to 76 foot-pounds. Let's make our way up here. We'll snug this and torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Remove support from under your suspension and make your way over to your sway bar link. At this point, we'll be taking the sway bar link and put it in position along this area. If you find that you either need to raise or lower it, you could use a pry bar. We'll use this underneath the sway bar, and at this point, you can pivot everything as needed. Let's torque this to 31 foot-pounds. Let's make our way to our brake flex hose. We'll take this and put it in position. You will want to go underneath this area on the strut. Align the area, start in the mounting bolt and snug it up. Double check to make sure it's completely secure. Let's get the wheel on here. At this point, we'll start on all of our 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out, get the wheel safely back on the ground, and then you can torque each one of these to 100 foot pounds. With the wheel back on the ground, we'll be torquing these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Now with the complete weight of the vehicle back down on the ground, we'll continue on with torquing each of these three 12 millimeter mounting nuts to 22 foot pounds. Okay friends, we've got one side of the vehicle together. At this point, you wanna go over and do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Once you've done so, go ahead and close the hood, take your vehicle for a road test down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.